two, three, four. I have only six more of these to do. And then the outer perimeter. Well, here I am again laying down on the job. <laughs> oh, I just had one of the neighbors stop by wanting to see the trailer. Explain everything that was going on. So that's always nice. Looks like we're uh, marching on. Cutting this stuff, getting going. Let's see if I can get you up here. too bad I, this big thick one can't get it to bend up in there because of this channel this channel here for the uh for the brake wires that run through so i just split it on that half the thickness of that so it still rests each piece will rest on that now i only got one more bag and then this is gone and all the ones in the back we don't have to worry about this it's work, it's gonna work all right. Everything's gonna be good. Ah. Well, we're not gonna be able to leave the day after Thanksgiving like we thought. Uh, just moving down here and getting all the doctor's appointments, all the referrals, you know, the cardiologist and the vascular surgeon and everything that we got to go through and my wife's having a little bit of issue right now so they got her wearing a heart monitor for a couple of weeks and then uh we met with the cardiologist for her which i think we i'll have heard the same one that she has um and uh they're gonna do the get the results for the heart monitor and then she's got to go for an echo they're thinking it's a valve, um, but right now they're saying from what they can determine the, the uh, echo will make it more clear, but they think it's just something that doesn't need too much attention right now. We're hoping and praying that. Uh, uh, if it seems to be more severe, then they might have to do a replacement, but Right now, it's not looking that way. So we're thankful for that, but we got to go through this. We got to get all this done before we leave. So it'll probably be our, she gets the results on the 1st or 2nd of December. And that's when I meet with the cardiologist for my uh, going over my stuff. So it might not be till like the 3rd of December now, which uh, why I'm rushing to get this insulation down here done. So now that one side of the garage is a lot clearer and I can set up the machines in there and we could still be working on the inside, uh, have a heater in there and, and get a little bit more done before we leave. So that'll be good. But if you're, if you're believers and you pray, we would appreciate your prayers.
that's the way it's been going. One side fits fairly good, and then the other side is tight. But then we'll get up in there and we should go. Wow. This might be the first one that has to be because that seems a little tight to me. Which is going to make it hard to get it back down out of there. So, that might have been a mistake on my part. I knew it was tight and I should have went ahead and left it be. Ah. Hmm. I think I'm going to pull that back out. And the only way to do that now is stuffed up in there. Just maybe get this other side back down if I can. Because it's pretty really tight. Yeah. 